Welcome back to my Candy Love University life. So right now I'm playing through episode 11 of Priya's route and I'm finally, finally caught up on all five routes. So you know what that means. When episode 12 is released, I'm going to be posting videos of all five routes. And on top of that, I'm also going to do a couple of extra videos. So I'm going to do Nathaniel's route where you have accepted Castile's one night stand because I want to see how that differs in episode 12. Um, I'm also going to be playing through Castile's route where you reject his one night stand because I actually personally liked that ending better. I don't, I don't know. I just felt like it was more emotional. I just liked it better. So of course I'll still be playing like the original ones where you're on Castile's route, you accept him, and you're on Nathaniel's route, and you reject Castile. I'll still be playing those as well. Those will be like the first videos. Um, but yeah, so a total of seven videos for episode 12, and it's going to be an adventure. But anyway, we're not there yet. <laughs> we're still on episode 11, so here we go with Priya. As usual, I will just be playing the parts with her in it, so I'm going to jump into this, and I will see you once I find her. All right, here we go. Hi. Oh, Priya, hi. I wasn't expecting to run into her like this. I froze, totally on edge. How have you been since Saturday? Fine. And you? Fine, yeah. I, I sent you a text last night. I don't know if you... I thought I'd heard your voice. What have you been doing? Did you make the pizzas yourself or what? Oh, oh. <gasps> Really? It's the singer from the band we saw performing at the concert Priya took me to Saturday night. That thing. Actually, they're going to be delivered. There was too much of a wait to order them to go. I'm coming, Tara. Okay. Come on. Besides, I'm waiting for you. It's your turn to play. Well, this is awkward. <laughs> Sorry, I gotta go. But let's catch up later, okay? Yeah, right. Later. I would have enjoyed spending the evening with you, eating pizza. Me too. No, drop it. Obviously you have more important things to do. <laughs> I kind of feel like you're picking C. I mean, who does she think she is? She hasn't even given me an explanation or anything. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go C. No, don't take it that way. I, yeah, right, later. Priya walked into her room and shut the door right afterwards. <laughs> well, okay. Bye. Are you coming or what? Wait, didn't she? <laughs> okay, <laughs> now she's walking away. Promise, let's get together later. Priya walked into her room and shut the door right afterwards, even though she already did that, so that's weird. Okay, great. I headed straight to my room in a hurry. That's not cool, but uh, alright. I would have preferred being alone. I thought Tara was supposed to leave right after the concert. What the hell is she doing in Priya's room? Besides, when I think back on how she acted on stage with Priya, she's definitely into her. Is Priya with her? Maybe what happened Saturday night didn't mean anything. Was it a joke? I feel like sending her a text, but I don't know what to say. I looked at my phone with a glimmer of hope. Is it? No, it's Yolene's. What now? Yelene went out into the hall, closing the door kind of hard behind her, catching bits of her phone conversation through the door. It must be her mother. It sounds strained. I changed out of my clothes and lay down on my bed. I picked up the copy of Melody's schedule to see what was in store for me tomorrow. Only classes where I'm ahead on what there was to do. At least I don't have to worry about that. Whether you like it or not, it's the same. Sounds like Yelene's going to be a while. The other students must also be hearing her conversation, considering how loud she's screaming. I turned off the light and kept my phone with me, to check out stuff on social media. I dig my nails into my phone case when I see a picture Priya got tagged in on the web. Tara is kissing her on the cheek as Priya holds a piece of pizza in her hand, giggling. Um, excuse me Priya, do you not see how that looks? The picture was posted five minutes ago. <gasps> I'm so offended right now. <laughs> Considering how this Tara chick was acting on stage with <laughs> this Tara chick <laughs> was acting on stage with Priya, I'm practically sure that's 
there's something going on. She was supposed to have left town on Saturday. Either she came back for Priya or else she never left. Also, I'm aware that most people probably pronounce it Tara, but I have a weird accent, okay? So just, <laughs> just bear with me. When I think how much that kiss we... Wait, when I think how much that kiss we gave each other Saturday threw me for a, for a loop, maybe for Priya it was nothing. I, I feel like sending her a text. I hesitated about writing her, but no. I already did last night. I'm not going to add any more. That's enough. She'll end up answering me. No, I'm going to text her and tell her how I feel. I mean, what I think. <laughs> I wrote a quick text. I hope you got my text last night. Tell me if you're interested. I wish we could have talked more earlier. Night. Okay, well, I wasn't expecting it to be that nice, but whatever, that's fine. <laughs> oh, well, okay, now we're French. Cool. I tossed and turned in my bed for an hour, still hearing Yelene shouts in the hallway. All right, so I've just rejected Castile for like the millionth time, and here we go. I guess heading towards Priya. What the? Priya was sitting in front of my door. She stood up when she saw me coming. I was afraid of missing you. I wanted to see you. Did you now? Where's that Tara chick, huh? I ran into your roommate with suitcases. She told me you weren't here. She was going away for the weekend. I didn't even know if you'd be home tonight, but did you stay here all night in hopes of seeing me? I was surprised not to have heard from you all week. Aren't you with Tara tonight? <laughs> Why did you want to see me? Um, do I feel like being petty? Do I feel like it? <laughs> um, I don't know. Yeah, sure, let's do it. <laughs> no, she left during the week. I thought she had to leave right after the concert. She changed her plans. We hadn't seen each other in such a long time. She decided to, see, to stay to see me. Hmm. I needed some time to think more clearly about what happened Saturday between you and me. And so, now you've had time to think about it. You realised it was a big mistake, is that it? No, I realised that I'd willingly trade all of my Saturdays for even just one minute with you. I felt like a load of bricks had just dropped into my chest. Really? What about the other chick? Yes, really. I I know it's all new for you. But for me, too, it was new. What do you mean? It seems to me I'm not the first girl you've kissed. No, but you're the first person who made me feel what I felt on the lake shore that night. She held out her hand to me, and our fingers me met. <laughs> I opened the door to my room and pulled her inside. Yelene, are you here? I hope not. There's a note on my desk. It's from Yelene. I'll be back Tuesday. That's no excuse to party and make a mess in the room. Have a nice weekend, Yelene. I felt Priya's body close behind me. She moved my shoulders to force me to turn around face her, to face her. What about you? How do you feel about last Saturday? It was totally wild. I still can't get over it. I hadn't heard from you, despite my texts that worried me. Seeing you with Tara didn't help. I don't know. I need, ex I need to experience more of it to figure out what's going on in my head. Oh, really? <laughs> um, sure, let's go see. You're still flustering me. I didn't know you were flustered. Well, I am. You took my nights away from me. Robbed me of my sleep. Since last Saturday... All I've thought about is the next time I'd run into you. Really? She placed a kiss on my lips, backing up right away to size up my reaction. Taking a deep breath, I pressed myself up against her to kiss her passionately. Leaning on my desk, she sat down on it and wrapped her legs around me. That kiss is nothing like the one we gave each other last Saturday. We ended up pulling apart and catching our breath. I suggest we... Uh, we... we what? <laughs> she entwined her fingers with mine and pulled me to my bed. Sitting here while I boil some water in your super desktop kettle. Do you have any tea? Sure, yeah. <laughs> that was a random twist. Okay. <laughs> Want to watch a movie or, or a series? Or just talk? If we start anything, I'm likely to fall asleep. I'm exhausted. I just want to be with you. Doesn't matter what we do. A series sounds good to me. Let's go be. She serves us two hot teas, and we settled down comfortably on my bed. We started a series that we'd never watched. We spent the whole time hugging and kissing. Oh, cute. 
<laughs> and in the end, dozing off to sleep together. Oh. Oh, it's so cute. I love it. <laughs> Okay, so that is finally Priya's route all caught up. I'm so happy that I'm now caught up with all five of them. Episode 12 is going to be a good one. So anyway, I'm leaving it here. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and remember to subscribe for more Let's Play. And I will see you when episode 12 is released. Bye!